Now in Southern Africa, Democratic Progressive Party presidential candidate Paul Msikula Kadama said Malawi needs new blood in leadership for the country to excel. This follows the rejection of former president Peter Mutharika to stand for 2025 elections by some of his party members. Gadama said the country is going through political and economic challenges which are immeasurable and the leadership has no concern to save the citizens. He adds that there must be a change in the country's politics from where one person or tribe believes they can rule the country forever. The DPP is set to hold its convention in July to elect the party's president in the 2025 polls. Paul Msikula Gadama, presidential candidate of the Democratic Progressive Party, joins me from Washington, D.C. to unpack this latest development. Thank you so much for joining us on NC Continental Prime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So to begin with, what motivated you to run for the presidency under a party that was defeated in the last election? Uh, for a start, I can say that uh, I'm a member of the Progressive Party. Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, that, pos that alone, it qualifies me to be a candidate or either the president of the DPP to contest on 2025. But uh, what really has motivated me, our country, it needs to progress. We need a progressive me progressiveness because uh, as the current status in Malawi, the problems are too many. Uh, too many because of the new leadership has lost the direction. People, they voted for Little League. They had no any vision, any plan for the country. So I, need, I want to be a champion of this development. So the backwardness has mm -hmm. really lost our country. The economy, everything is in shambles. So I feel and I know that I'm capable to change the current status in Malawi. Now, Paul, you talk about uh, so many challenges, economical, political challenges that are immeasurable in the country. How will you exactly differentiate yourself from your party's previous candidate, former President Peter Mutharika, or government policies? Uh, to be honest, uh, where we were in 2018, 2019, before 2020, this current government got the government. Uh, we were on the better position. You could not find a queue, people queuing for fuel. But now people are spending two weeks on the queue to just to get five liters of petrol. It simply means that the current government has lost the direction. Peter was better off than what we have today. Therefore, I've grown up in DPP, I, and I know the stages which the former president took. It was just... Uh, a little from this government and i would do better taking from my background as an economist i know what to do and how to change that country within a short period of time by the end of the day malawi can be a food basket for africa for example here in america it's only three percent of their population that practice agriculture but in malawi and they feed the whole america and the rest of the world in Malawi, it's 99% of people, they practice agriculture, but each and every year they face hunger. It simply means that we lack a political leadership. We don't have leaders in Malawi, that's why we are facing whatever we are passing now. I have capacity and I know and I have experience to change the country. And talking about these changes you plan to bring to the country, uh, can you also talk more about this, how you plan to address the concerns and the needs of the people because they voted for the opposition the last election and some of them mm. might be hesitant to support your party so how do you plan to change your mind and uh, you know just like you said you talked about the true blood in malawi how do you plan to do that thank you very much uh, uh if you can analyze what happened for this current group of uh senseless people to got a government they were just they just they were just telling people lies. But DPP, they hated DPP because DPP, they were in power. We have been in power for more than 10 years, 15 years. Then these people, they said, no, we were overstayed. But we had a direction. We had a plan to, uh, to improve our, the welfare of local people, to improve the welfare of all Malawians, not to feed 
our interest as politicians. The only problem we have is that most of the politicians, they only have their interest not to achieve or either to progress as a country. I know the stages which I can take from each, from the first three months in the office. First, there is no forex, there is no fuel, there is nothing. I know stages and I know the investors, I know the private sector which, which I can talk with to improve our country. By the end of first six months, there will be a greater improvement which will improve the welfare of Malawians. If you can bear with me, in Malawi life now is so pathetic. People, they are living like there's no leader. Every the Professor Peter Mutariga, he really improved the country. But because he was coming from a certain tribe and other tribe, they grouped and they stand against him. That's why now we are backward. We are, we are not progressing. We are regressing. That's mm. what we are facing in Malawi. I know where APM left, and I'll, I'll take it from there, and I'll improve Malawi. Okay, thank you so much, Paul Gadama. We do wish you all the best uh, in your political ambition in Malawi. Thank you so much for joining us on NC Continental Prime. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.